with so many people video conferencing due to the current situation and a lot of people getting into content creation, both through YouTube and Twitch, there is a great way to use your Canon camera as a webcam. And the quality of your Canon camera is far and away superior to any webcam that you're gonna find, whether it be the high-end Logitech 1080p cameras or pretty much anything else. But normally, in order to take the video coming from your camera and actually use it on your computer, you need a capture card or some other device to translate the HDMI output from your camera into a USB input for your computer. But recently, Canon launched their webcam utility beta. Uh, so it is a beta software, but since I've been using it, I haven't run into really any issues whatsoever. And it allows you to just plug your Canon camera in uh, with micro USB to your computer. So no capture card, nothing like that required. Uh, just any old micro USB cable lying around your house. And this allows you to just pretty much plug and play with your Canon camera in most softwares on your computer. So far, I've tested it out in Zoom and Skype, and the Canon webcam utility works perfectly in those applications. Um, I've also used it in OBS Studio and have had zero issues there as well. So I'll show you guys through the process of actually installing the webcam utility beta for whatever Canon device that you are using. And then I'll show you guys the quick and easy setup and then of course, how to actually launch it into whatever software that you're going to use it in. So for me, that's pretty much OBS Studio, so I'll show you guys that. But again, most of your video conferencing application will be able to use this as well. So here is the Canon Webcam Utility Beta website, um, and I'll link this in the description below. But what you're gonna find um, is all of the cameras that will be supported by the webcam utility. And you're gonna have to select your specific camera as the utility that's downloaded onto your computer will of course depend on whatever EOS device you are using. You have everything from your high-end EOS 1DX Mark II um, all the way down to you know, your EOS Rebel devices. Uh, but for me, I'm using an EOS M50, so a mirrorless uh, Canon camera. Nice and compact, super easy to use as a webcam. Um, fits on pretty much any tripod and you can just mount it over your computer. And for most content creators, you're pretty much gonna either be using a PowerShot camera, one of the EOS mirrorless devices, such as myself with a Canon M50, or your EOS 80D, 90D. But as you can see, there's no 70D on here. So if you have an older uh, Canon camera, your device may not be compatible with the webcam utility. So all you would do is click on your device. For me, it's the US M50. And then you're just gonna look for the US webcam utility for Windows. Um, so this is only a Windows based uh, utility. You cannot download it on Mac. Uh, but for me, I have both a Mac laptop as well as a Windows desktop. So I'm just using this on my desktop computer. Um, so all you do is select and download. And what that will do is just download the EOS webcam utility beta installer package. So for me, I already have the utility installed, so I won't have to install it right now, but all you'll have to do is just double click on the webcam utility package. Uh, it's a couple of steps and then you're pretty much good to go. So now that we have our webcam utility installed on our computer, all we're gonna have to do is plug in our micro USB into our Canon. And of course, this is much easier with two hands, but we'll make do. And we have it installed. And now you can see on your camera, you have a little uh, computer icon, I guess, which says that it's now connected to the computer. So I'll hop back onto the computer and show you guys exactly what this looks like inside of OBS. So now you can see that when we're launched into OBS, we have zero output from our camera, but it's expecting the EOS webcam utility beta. Uh, so when you go into uh, your OBS studio on your video capture device, uh, you are able to then go into properties. And for me, I have a Logitech webcam, but you should also see an EOS webcam utility beta. So when you click on that, that allows you to then set your Canon camera as your webcam. So now when I go and I plug in the micro USB, we will actually be able to see our output from our Canon camera inside of OBS. So now you can see inside of OBS, we have our Canon camera as our webcam, which is pretty sweet. The only thing that we do not get is the sound transmitted from our Canon camera. 
Uh, so even though, you know, when you're normally video recording, you'll of course get the sound from either the built-in mic or in my case, the Rode Video Micro. Um, once you, you try it with the webcam utility beta and you're just capturing the video output from the device, the sound is lost. So you'll have to use another microphone, whether that's the built-in mic on your device, uh, a lavalier mic, something that you can then plug into your computer to then get the sound output. But it's an extremely simple step and you'll know that it's working when you go into your file manager, uh, you'll be able to see your, your device in there. So of course, in my case, the Canon EOS M50, but this is a super, super easy thing to do. Um, and you get a really good video quality webcam out of, out of it. So normally with like, whether it's like a 720p built-in uh, camera on most laptops uh, or even a 1080p camera, this far and away is just a better visual, uh, higher quality, pretty much everything is better when you're using, you know, something that's dedicated to be a high end camera. So for the price of, you know, a micro USB lying around your house, you can take your Canon camera, which is far and away, like I said before, much better quality than any webcam that you're going to find, um, and turn that into your webcam. So, you know, if you're video conferencing for work or you're trying to just have better overall stream quality on let's say Twitch or YouTube, or let's say you're screen recording using OBS and you just want a really good uh, video output from your camera, then this is definitely the way to go. You don't need a capture card. You don't need anything like that. And normally a capture card like an Elgato uh, 4K mini capture card runs like $140. You might be able to find cheaper ones on Amazon for like $40 to $50. But again, for the price of a micro USB, you can turn your Canon camera into your webcam. So whatever you're using your Canon camera for, the video quality coming from it should be much better than whatever you were using prior. And I assume if you guys are checking out this video, then your webcam was probably not doing the job. Uh, and you might have a Canon lying around your house that you're using for whether it's photography or videography, you're using it for something, but you can now use it as a webcam as well. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and learned a little bit about how to turn your Canon camera into a webcam. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. Uh, if you have any comments, any questions about the process or anything like that, be sure to leave those in the comments below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel.